Hi there, today on this Millennial Review we're taking a look at the Pittsburgh 6 inch digital caliper from Harbor Freight. Now this is the $19.99 digital caliper item number 68304 and it's going to be able to read things both in SAE and metric and you'll notice this compared to the $18, the $17 version uh, the major difference is this is able to do both fractional as well as decimal readings. Now let's go ahead and slide it out of its package and see what comes with the caliper. You can see it's got a pretty nice quality looking case, uh, not too bad considering the low cost. And something like this from a brand like Husky is going to cost considerably more. Well let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, looks like I opened it up upside down, but that's okay. We've got our digital caliper here. The caliper itself is made out of metal. They make one out of uh, plastic that they call composite, uh, but having had some experience with that, I highly recommend uh, that you go ahead and get the metal one. It's going to come with a owner's manual here for the Pittsburgh caliper. Uh, I'm sure it's going to tell you a whole bunch of things and uh, pretty interesting and we'll take a look at this where it also comes with a second battery which is a nice thing but we'll go ahead and measure some things with this digital caliper now I've got the caliper in my hand here as you can see and it's going to be set up with a few different buttons and whatnot to be able to uh, basically control the caliper now you're going to have your on off button which is going to turn it on here. As you can see, it reads zero. Uh, but as you open it up, you can actually zero it out if you wanted to, say, make a measurement uh, off of something already. So you can hit that zero, it'll zero it out. And now, of course, as you close it, it goes negative. Or if you were measuring something wider, it would go positive from that point that you started. We'll go ahead and zero it back uh, at the beginning. Now, as we see it here, we're taking a look at decimal for inches. If we hit it one more time, it's going to give us a fractional reading, uh, which is always a nice thing if you're reading off of directions or trying to make a real uh, specific cut. And then we're going to have our millimeter measurements as well as going back to inches and de decimals. Now, let's say you wanted to measure something like the width of this box that it comes with. So we're going to go ahead and do that, which we can see is about 35 millimeters. Now that 35 millimeters, we want to lock that in place. So we've got this little knob on the top that you can tighten up and that's actually going to lock the caliper in place where even if you try to squeeze it closed, it's going to stay. That's a great thing. And then the other piece that I like about this digital caliper is that it's got a roller on the bottom. Now this doesn't come with all calipers, uh, so that is a, uh, a real nice feature to be able to kind of control uh, what you're doing. So if you were, say, trying to measure on the inside of this box, you're actually able to open it kind of all in one hand and notice that it's 0.75 of an inch. So overall, uh, this is a pretty nice caliper. I have used a few of these before, so I can say with a certainty that uh, it's a nice caliper, and it's definitely worth going to go pick up. 